first time that's bullshit about us not walking up the stairs because there's a lift there and they won't let us use it. We have to walk up the stairs. Anyway, um, first up and most importantly, you need to uh, thank the crew. Now everyone's been saying heaps about the crew, but um, the crew is what makes this event. I know the organisers are here, but this is definitely a team effort. And I used this quote last year, and I've been thinking for a whole year what quote I'd use instead. But the Isaac Newton. Quote is if I've seen further than most, it's because I've stood on the shoulders of giants, and you know our crew is just giants, and we could not do this. I'm not saying my crew's better than any other crew, but my my crew works for me, and your crew works for you, and they're just you know they mesh with our personalities, and it's absolutely brilliant. I'm going to be really quick because um, I took too long last. Yeah, um, and I think uh, Tony wants to move on. <laughs> now, um, I, I just thought I'd like to quickly share what Ultraman means to me. Like we all do this because it's a journey, um, but you know, this is a destination. You know, we 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 don't think of the finish line, but when it comes to Ultraman or Iron Man, we think of the finish line and getting to that finish line. But with Ultraman. It's, you know, it's more, it's, you know, listening to the, you hear the dulcet tones of Steve-O first, um, then you see the smiling face of your crew members, but it's a real smile, it's not that, my God, is he going to make it when he's out on the course, you know, that, that fake smile with fear and trepidation, there's no way he's going to get over, but I'll smile, honestly. Yeah. Um, and then, then you've got Bowser sticking the, uh, sticking the camera in your face and you've got the fake smile then because you, you're going, oh, thanks, Barry. Um, and then you've got Brian who's there with his chair, that shitty chair. Uh, <laughs> and then we, um, then we, from the chair, we go and sit in that ice bath and then we start soaking everything in. And then we go there to that chair, the line of chairs where we wait for the massages. And then we've got the magic hands of Gail and her crew. Who just And then we're still laughing and joking about the race while we're there, just on the, on the massage tables and thinking, this is why you signed up for it, triathlons. You know, and I said it last year, that unfortunately Iron Man has lost the soul and Ultraman has taken it and said, this is what endurance triathlon is. Prime Minister Tony, who um, I'm dead set he needs to be um, he needs to be in politics um, because I said it last year he still hasn't taken me up on my advice yet. But uh, we need you up the top, mate, because you know your organisation, your ability to bring people together is just magical, and uh, we love you to death. And you'll be Papa Tony from now on. We we love you very much. And a mother goose, uh, Dale, um, we love you very much too. So thanks for all your hard work. Um, now, finally, I'd like to thank, the, oh, not thank, but congratulate, no one's done it yet, but uh, Deanne, Deanne and Richard, not because of their amazing efforts, but because of the humility that they show in victory. They're just one of us. They cross the line first, but we all cross the line, and the uh, humility that Richard shows and just having a chat to, to me at the um, start of races is just amazing. And, you know, I. Thanks very much, Richard. You're a great man. And Deanne, thank you very much for uh, racing with me. Not against me, but thanks very much. Very nicely stated there. Thank you very much, Sean. We'll see you next person we're calling upon.